This is a few people who said we need to do something different about this park and we need to raise the money and create a plan and get things donated and scrap and find a way to make this park happen. And that's, that's what we're doing. 400 members of our neighborhood came out and turned that from a place that had major problems with drug dealing, a place that was blighted, a place that was ugly, to now a place that's beautiful. There's just a dedicated core group of people that believe in this neighborhood and want to make it an amazing place. It's just neighbors getting to know neighbors, neighbors taking responsibility. If the trees aren't being cut or the lights are out, instead of getting upset with the city, just calling them and say, how can we partner? How can we solve these problems? With the financial crisis that cities find themselves in, if the neighborhood wants to improve their uh, community, we have to do it ourselves. We're, we're happily taking that on. We have neighbors that are architects that help. We have neighbors that are contractors uh, from all specialties. We have volunteers and everything is at this point is being funded with either cash or in-kind donations by neighbors. This is going to become one of Modesto's nicest parks. And because of our camera system, it's going to be safe and it's going to be fun to use and you're going to want to bring your families here. Uh, this park is going to be watched uh, during certain hours in a live manner. As soon as somebody shows up here after hours and they're not supposed to be here, they're going to hear an announcement saying that they need to leave. And if they don't leave, then we call the police to respond to you. They have taken the steps to make their neighborhood as safe as they can make it, and they've partnered with us. That's huge. Uh, we need the entire city to take notice of what Loma has done and become a partner with the police department like they have. We used to, when I was in high school, we made little movies and we'd make them in this park and the park across the way. And then throughout the last many, many years, when my wife and son and daughter and I have come, we have spent a lot of time here. I just, I love Modesto, so I'm, I'm very excited that, that people are going to finally do something to make this what it should be. We're going to have play equipment, new restrooms, a snack bar for everyone's convenience, and we have security. But I also need to ask today too for donations. Many of you have received a form where you can fill out and donate a hundred bucks or fifty bucks or twenty bucks. But this is our park and we need to donate. We have a really special flag today. This is the uh, flag. It's the coffin flag of Lieutenant Daniel Hyde. Many of you have read about uh, Lieutenant Daniel Hyde. I'd like to thank his parents, uh, Glenda and Brian, for being here today and letting us use this flag. Or the red parts we watched were so gallantly streaming or the last